Right then guys, the uh, the Bentley drop head, and what a stunning car. Do you know what, I'd go as far as to say probably the nicest one we've had, I think, and we've had lots of these. We always have three or four kicking around, they represent fantastic value for money. Uh, this drove over to us yesterday, and I like it. I think it's great. I think it's a lovely machine. 30 odd, 39,000 miles with some fantastic history, which I'll come to in a minute. That's, um, that's in there. But a right nice thing. The standard six litre twin turbo lump underneath the front there. There she is. Now I'll tell you what else, it's got all sorts of um, little extras on it. But I'll tell you what is nice, which I haven't seen on one for a long while. There you are. My Range Rover's got that. Soft closure. In fact, I should have left it open because I want to show you in there. But anyway, in the, in the back here. There we are. She's all there. There's a couple of stickers there for you. Nicely in the back. We'll put that down. And then we should have a button here. Obviously, the um, warning triangle should have a button there. Is that working? Yeah, lovely. And do you know what? Up until now, I'm not just saying it. Up until now, if I bought one for myself, I would have bought the hardtop. Um, but having seen this, black and black, and black, obviously, um, I'd be tempted uh, with one like this. Um, I've had a quick look inside with you already. But inside's lovely. There's nothing... No drama inside, nothing of any uh, major. I think the seat's still good. The carpets and the overmats are nice. Everything in there looks good. Door shuts, door cards and things. And obviously, I might as well turn that off. It's got the soft closure, obviously, on the driver's door as well. If you do it properly, there you go. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Now I'll just shut this one, but I'll open it back up again, just to give you a bit of a better view inside. I've taken a photograph there of your plaque. We've got loads of paperwork inside of the building, not inside the car. Now, ooh, there you go. Now the owner told me yesterday, it's also got an option on, on here where you can hold the button and that puts the hood down for you before you get in it. Now, I have never tried this, so I might be doing it wrong. I don't know. Oh, you've got to keep holding the button. I just let go of the button thinking it'll do itself. He was right, wasn't he? I always cringe with them though because I like to fold them down nice and neat and you've got no real say on how they fold up have you which is why obviously you see the wear and tear with them they are he was right there you go yep obviously come down like that look at that now that's a car and a half isn't it aren't they such good value for money they're fantastic value for money everyone should have a go at one of these Now, I didn't ask him if it did the reverse, but let's see if it does the reverse. Let's press the other button, hang on, and see if it does the reverse. Maybe not, maybe not a closure, just an opener. Well, opener would do, wouldn't it? Yeah, there you go. Opener would do, that's all you want. I suppose when you're in it, you can close it, can't you? There might be a means, guys, I don't know. I've never come across that before. It's a little extra, obviously, that they do. Um, there might be a means on um, pressing the button two times, three times, I don't know, and it might close it for you, but definitely opens. There she is. Oh, just before I do sign off, let me just go and show you this extremely impressive uh, folder of paperwork that we've got inside. I just have to wander in because, although it's not particularly windy today, I just, I just laid it out in here ready to look at. The car's just had a thousand mile ago or something like that, an eight and a half thousand pound service prep, call it what you want, which is all here, together with the second key. 
So we've got two keys. I photographed all this for you. We've got two keys. There's a few bullet points, 39,000 miles, big spec on the car, massage seats apparently, soft closure doors, we've seen that, power boot, we've seen that, remote hood opening, clue there, seen that, 20 inch uh, Bentley speed alloys, major service at 37,686, at uh, the cost of 8,000 an odd quid. Now I've got it here, it goes through all the bits and pieces, sorry that they've done, they are, uh, oils, bungs, pollen filters, Handbrake motors, brake hose, fluid, cam gaskets, you name it. Looks like a starter battery, brackets, whatever, you name it. And look at that, £8,384. And then we've got some stamps in the book on top of that. Uh, there's a few stamps here, guys. You'll have to come down and have a look. Well, there, they're just the vouchers, I think. There was a stamp there, Birmingham. Pre-delivery stamp. And another one there, 10,000, 15,000, 19,000. I think there's some more as we go through. Obviously, hasn't done many miles at all. Let's have a look through some more. Yeah, 26,000, 34,000, 37,000. That's the big one there. That's this one. So that sums it all up for you guys. I think it ticks just about every box, this car.